it's snowing, uh, finally. I think this is only the second real snow we've had here. And uh, I'm headed out to do a little bit of camping this evening. It is blowing like crazy and the roads are incredibly still slick. Like I can't even take off from an intersection without spinning most of the time. Uh, so the weather conditions are bad. We're in a winter storm warning right now. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to get like much accumulation. The ground is covered. But uh, we're not getting a ton of, of accumulation because it's blowing really hard. We're getting like 40 mile per hour winds. Like I can probably have like maybe eighth to a quarter mile, probably eighth mile visibility. It's only about a 20 minute drive to get up to this campsite. So it's not terribly far. So I can take my time uh, and there is electricity there. So I'm not going to freeze to death tonight. It's currently 20 degrees. I don't know what the forecast is. I really don't even know when the snow is supposed to stop. Uh, we weren't, we were kind of in an advisory, but it didn't look like we were going to get this much snow or, or it was going to be quite this bad, but it hit us. So I figured I'd head out. Uh, I don't know if you could see in the back window, like you could see my truck is just loaded with crap. I just grabbed some beers. Uh, I've got a different blanket there, and some food in my cooler. All my ice fishing stuff is here, uh, and the back is still open. Um, I don't know if you can see in the window, but the garland is still hanging there, and the sock is still hanging up. The, the little Christmas tree is not in there anymore, but uh, we're going to leave that garland up and the lights up because uh, they're just battery powered. I'm just going to run them until they die, and then I'll probably take that stuff down. It, I'm guessing another night or so in the back of the truck, it's going to kill them anyways. So we're headed out to camp, guys. Stay tuned. I'm curious to see how much snow we're going to get or if there's anybody else at this campsite. I would highly, highly doubt it. Uh, so we shall see. Stay tuned. I just swung the back end out. Like, I'm not trying to do that at all. It is icy very icy it started raining before the snow came down the lake out there kind of a little bit maybe so I'm gonna drive up here find an electric spot we'll get this big pig backed up and hunker down in the back as Steve Wallace would say enjoy the evening enjoy the storm there's a better view of the lake this was completely frozen a couple days ago and it looks to be completely open now
right guys, we've made it to camp. Uh, I've camped here a few times this year. It's a decent spot. Um, and like I expected, I am the only person here today. It is cold, it is windy if you can't tell. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop back up in here and enjoy the storm. Like I said, I still got the garland up there. And I still have the lights on it. So, I mean, I haven't even been here, but 10 minutes and the truck's already starting to get covered. Uh, it's not too bad, but I guess it doesn't translate well on camera. But here we are. Like you can barely even see the water. My stash is freezing up already. Yeah, I'm gonna get in here, it's cold. Let's get in here and get this closed up. Get my shoes off. Holy wow. Well, probably should have kicked the snow off my shoes. It'll dry up. It's all right. Holy crap, it's cold out there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get changed. And then we'll get to hanging out and watching a movie. I brought some, I actually got to cook a little bit. I don't know if you would really consider it cooking, uh, considering what I typically like to eat, but it should be nice and warm. So stay tuned guys. We're just gonna watch the storm. I can't even see out of this window already. I mean, this is kind of fogging up. I'm gonna get a window crack though, so it won't be too bad, but like that's already getting covered in snow. And it's just blowing like crazy. I'm gonna get this window cracked, this cab window, just so I have some air circulating in here. I always like to have some kind of air circulating, you know? It doesn't have to be open all the way. A little bit of breeze is nice. And that kind of also helps keep down some of the uh, condensation if you have a bit of airflow through. Otherwise, a fan can also help that a lot if you have if you have everything closed up. It'll just I don't know. I'll leave it a little bit. I should probably turn this down. I'm just talking about nothing. The only thing better would be a better view, but nothing close enough to get to, and I didn't really want to drive incredibly far considering how bad the roads were. Yeah guys, I'm gonna hang out. I've said that a bunch of times already. I don't know what else to say <laughs> sometimes. Uh, I guess stay tuned. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. Like I said, I didn't eat much for lunch and I bought these things for the Christmas camping episode and I didn't end up eating any of them. They're just uh, chocolate cupcakes, like Christmassy cupcakes. This will be Tasty little treat right now. Doesn't that look pretty good? Oh, we're cold. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is so windy out there. It's shaking the whole truck. Um, I think the snow has kind of, for the most part, died down, but it's still blowing a lot of snow everywhere. Well, if you guys can see, the sun's setting. It's a cool sunset. I'll pop this open. I'm sure it's going to be cold, but it might look a little nicer, yeah. Wind is still howling out there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to stay this windy all night or not. Because um, it's so cold, if the wind were to die down, the, may the lake might start to freeze back over, but with as windy as it is right now, that's not gonna happen. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen like any big branches fall down, which is probably a good thing because I'm parked pretty close to a tree. 
Yeah. Beautiful sunset, guys. Got the soup going. Looks like it should be pretty tasty, and that is dang near boiling already. I feel like but the soup is going, and we have a couple nice slices of bread to go with. I don't know, it's some like seven grain bread or something. I'm just gonna eat it right out of the uh, pan there. And considering we have a snowstorm, I have. Lucky Bucket Brewing, Holiday Spice, Snowsuit Spiced Belgian Abbey Ale. And we're gonna try some of that. That's not a pop top. There's a trick for you. Lucky Bucket is local, if I remember correctly. Yeah, La Vista, Nebraska. Here we go. So I've watched a couple movies, The Highwayman, and uh, what am I watching now? Back to the Future. The snow is basically tapered off. It's still windy. It kind of calms down, and then there's some really strong gusts that come through, shake the whole truck. That's warming up really quick. Paper towel out. I think next week we're actually supposed to, I mean, it's still a week out, but they're calling for a fairly large storm, which would be pretty cool if it happened, uh, but it's like a week out, so who knows if that's actually going to, you know, come through, I guess we'll see, but we could get like a foot of snow or something like that, which would be pretty neat. This is like boiling already, man, that really didn't take long, just shut that off, I guess. Well, well, I'm waiting for this to cool down, I guess. To read about the beer. The seasonal release, obviously snowsuit. Uh, our special blend of spices perfectly accents fruity notes derived from traditional Belgian Trappist yeast, bringing out the flavors of the seasons here's to winter. Brewed and bottled by Lucky Bucket, Brewing Company La Vista, Nebraska. There, go. there we go. Need a good piece of tater. mushrooms in this maybe very nice meat's really tender it's good but I still think uh, some beef stew would have been better a little bit thicker I'd rather have a stew over a soup chili you know thick meaty like a thick and meaty <laughs> I just would prefer a, a stew, I guess. This is really good, though. The meat's just as soft as the potatoes are. I think I need to up my spice game. Two different kinds of spices could go a long way, I think. Yeah, I definitely think there's some mushrooms in here. I guess I didn't really even look at the can. I'm gonna be a little bit sad to see the, the garland and lights go. I could reuse the lights in here, but they're battery operated. And I guess I could get rechargeable ones, but it's just not 
not worth it for those type of lights to run them all the time. They're so good. Soak up some of this juice. Can you hear the, the wind howling? Can you see it shaking in the garland? Maybe. Get the last of it out of here. Tell you what. Ow. Will that hit the old dumpster like uh like yesterday's news, I guess? But before we're done, I also have fortune cookie. Let's see what her fortune is. Your determination will bring you much success. I mean, that's true for anybody. Stay determined. Now it's time for a cookie. Oh. warm in here 60 64 is what that looks like I'm gonna go ahead finish watching back to the future then I'm gonna head to bed and I guess we'll get up in the morning and see what this uh, snowstorm turned out to be uh, I think if anything there might be a few drifts around but uh, we didn't accumulate a terribly large amount of snow, but anyways guys, dinner was good, uh, the beer is tasty, and I guess I'll enjoy the lights for another night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. This is going to be bright. Ugh. Well, good morning guys. I think it's about 7.30, as far as I can look. Can't see anything. 7.31 Yeah, I think it's time to get up. Sun's coming up. Uh, doesn't look like the snow accumulated a lot. Oh, because of the wind more than likely, but so currently outside. Whew, it's chilly once you get out from under the covers. Oh, wow. Yeah seven degrees out feels like six below so it's cold out there uh, we've not it's not even getting over freezing today i'm curious if that lake completely froze back over i can't really tell i think it might have i think it did overnight once the wind died out died out i think that leg froze god i can't even talk I think once that wind died down, the lake did freeze over. Uh, what do we got? It's about 52 in here right now. So plenty warm for me. I'm gonna get ready and roll it. Let the sun pop up. It's a little frosty in here. Uh, surprisingly, the windows aren't crusted over but I did have this one you can see that's gapped so I've probably got like an inch or so there I'm gonna let that Sun finish coming up uh, and then I'm gonna run over and see what the water looks like it'll be cool if it completely froze already uh, but with the temperature it should have so stay tuned guys we'll see what this looks like Oh, that blast of air is cold. Well, let's get out of here. Get my heater unplugged. Yeah, it's cold. 
Well, a little bit of snow covered the cord up. Snow's not too bad though. I thought we were gonna get more. Let's get this thing started. Cranked right over. Oh, it's cold out here, guys. Uh, I didn't change out of my pajama pants. I didn't feel like there was any reason to, but uh, I was right. Yesterday when I got here, it was blowing. This lake was completely open. And now once again, it is completely frozen solid. I mean, with as cold as it is, I did expect it to freeze, but I sure didn't expect it to freeze that quickly, I guess. Uh, Cause it was windy. I don't know, probably well, well into like midnight. Yep, it's locked back up. That's a good thing. Um, maybe we'll have fishable ice soon. There we go, guys. She's frozen. You can kind of tell how windy it was. It looks like it's a little wavy on top, but the sun is just coming up behind me. I am going to walk back to the rig. It's a little ways away. Uh, and I'm going to get headed home. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, hopefully we have some more good snowstorms coming. And uh, that's about it, guys. I guess, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.